If smoke gateway is blinking blue and purple, ensure that the unit is powered off. Turn on smoke gateway by pressing the power button. There will be two blue LED flashes. After the next LED flash, press the power button three times with approximately one half second pause between each press. Smoke gateway will then flash blue every second for five flashes while it updates the firmware. This will be followed by no flashes for approximately 15 seconds. If it doesn't work the first time, don't worry. Just try pressing the power button again three times with a slightly different time sequence between presses. You don't need to turn the power off to retry the three button press sequence. Smoke Gateway will now return to normal use with a blue LED flash every five seconds or so. If Smoke Gateway is blinking only purple, you must go through the setup process to connect Smoke Gateway to your Wi-Fi network by following the in-app instructions. With the old firmware, you will get a setup failed message, but the LED on Smoke Gateway will begin to flash blue and purple. Once connected to Wi-Fi, turn Smoke Gateway off. You will get two red LED flashes indicating the power down. Proceed with powering the unit back on. There will be two blue LED flashes. After the next LED flash, press the power button three times with approximately one half second pause between each press. Smoke Gateway will then flash blue every second for five flashes while it updates the firmware. This will be followed by no flashes for approximately 15 seconds. If it doesn't work the first time, don't worry. Just try pressing the power button again three times with a slightly different time sequence between presses. You don't need to turn the power off to retry the three button press sequence. Smoke Gateway will now return to normal use with a blue LED flash every five seconds. Now that Smoke Gateway has updated firmware, you can go through the setup process and successfully connect Smoke Gateway to your account.